Yeah, uh, let's uh, quickly get to Skype and speak to Williams Evans Inkum, who is our reporter from the Ashanti region. Joining us, Evans, how are you? Well, I'm, 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 I'm well. Um, Stephen, uh, currently um, within the Bosomche district and clay precisely Quintanase, and I can tell you that compliance level is all time high compared to um, what we saw or we've been seeing in the uh, Kumase metropolis. Uh, you hardly see people going, or I mean, going about uh, as far as this particular vicinity is concerned. Mm. I can also tell you that when it comes to uh, police um, or the military being strict on the public because of what have been happening in some of the market centers, as I reported earlier, for instance, what happened at Tuami Mar Mar uh, Market, which has led to the closure of that particular mar market, and of course, what also happened at Dr. Mensah Market, which has also led to the closure of that, part mar that particular market. They have increased the number of barriers, so uh, movement has been restricted um, as far as Kuma uh, Greater Kumasi is concerned, Afrit. Right. Yes, uh, I, I'm curious, uh, what took you to Kuntanase this morning? Well, so, you know, we've been uh, moving around Kumasi Metro. We thought that we should also see what is, I mean, what is happening um, in the peripheral areas. Boston Trade District is also part of the areas that were affected as far as um, this lockdown or that are affected as far as this particular lockdown is concerned. So we, come here, we came here to assess the environment to see if the people are complying um, as uh, in some areas we're seeing um, some level of compliance as far as Kumase uh, Metro is concerned. And I can tell you that compared to Kumase, I think I wouldn't want to use the word discipline, but uh, I think the people here are really indoors and they are yeah. not uh, coming out to even check if uh, there's anything happening on the streets. So, Mr. Though, you... you Ms. Angum, you, you've said it clearly that the people of Kuntanasi and surrounding areas are more disciplined than they are uh, more peri-urban or urban colleagues in Kumasi Central and, uh, like the president said, the contiguous areas of greater uh, Kumasi. But I, I, I want to hear from you whether you've been able to interact with a few of the residents who are staying indoors and whether you get the sense that they are very well informed uh, better than those in Kumasi, or you would say that this is sheer indiscipline on the part of the bigger city uh, people who just think that they can uh, choose to be recalcitrant nonetheless? Let me tell you one funny story. So I had wanted to speak to one particular person. I saw when our car was moving mm. around town, I saw him come out. Then I went closer to the door to knock and then see if I could speak to this particular person. But he would not even uh, respond to my call, let alone open the door for me to engage. Mm -hmm. It tells you, I, I don't know whether there's some level of fear um, yeah, as exactly. far as this particular place is mm -hmm. concerned, but it tells you that they are not observing just a lockdown. They are behaving as if there's a curfew. But believe you me, I haven't cited a single police or military person as far as this particular place is concerned. But nobody is out. The only people you are seeing, I'm, I'm sure you've been seeing some one or two people moving. Uh, I'm very close to the hospital, and these are hospital staff. These are the people that you see around. But just some few meters away from the town proper, you not see anybody around. And they are not even ready to talk to any stranger as far as this particular place is concerned. Uh, Williams, uh, Evans Incombe, we're grateful. Thank you very much uh, for that snap update there. So William Evans Incombe is our, uh, our man from Ashanti region.